There we go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It is I. Yes. Yes, that was necessary. Did I rape anyone? I hope I didn't. I really hope I didn't, but I did it just for the fun of it. <laughs> Back to you with another YouTube video, and I'm not doing a game today. Because I'm hung up on something, because that's the kind of person I am. There's been some talk going around behind my back about the profile picture item I have on my YouTube channel and my Instagram and, and my Facebook and well, well, <coughs> facts, <coughs> this is not fake. See this? There's been some talk going around that my my craftsmanship is cosplay. No. No. It's not true. I don't do cosplay. Yes, I'm a big fan of it. But no. No, this... This is not cosplay. Take a good look at this face. No, this is something else entirely. You see these? This is metal. You see this? This is metal. And this is also metal. That that part's plastic, but this the rest of this is metal. This part's metal too. Is there tape? Yes. Is there adhesives? Yes. Is there light tin? Yes. But it, that part's like metal. This thing is a modified motorcycle helmet. Meaning it was once used to protect your people's skulls from things like impact on solid concrete. Just, just do this. In a way, yes, it is like cosplay. But at the same time, it's a huge... Resounding no. Take a good look, America. Take a good look. Is my, is my teeth bent? Dang it, my tooth's bent. How many are bent? One. Okay, that, that one's bent inward. Crap. This is dangerous material. Do not make this kind of stuff at home. Already can feel that piercing my skin. Ouch. <laughs> I look exactly like a FNAF character, do I not? Oh, man, that's funny. <laughs> I feel exactly like a FNAF character. Anyway. Ouch. Helmets like this aren't made in public. This is not something you buy in a store. I made this thing myself. Granted, if I actually took that welding class that I missed that one day in high school, then I could have actually welded this part onto the back without having to use all this tape. But other than that, I did pretty good time making this. It was very expensive to make. cost hundreds of dollars just to make this one helmet. This one thing. This is just a prototype. This isn't even the final version. Oh no, I'm going to make a new one someday. Someday. It even says the city of where I hail. Pecatonica. It might be in reverse on the camera. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Just putting it there. 
And there's other parts to this suit too. It's not fake, it's real. It's all real materials. See this? Let me show you how this works. I shove my arm through here. That becomes the shoulder. Then I bring it back. I shove it through there. That becomes the arm. It's like I'm playing in a band. This goes up, then it goes over, and then down. And voila, I got free movement and protection of an arm. Just so you all know how strong this is, I'm gonna put it to the test. <laughs> yes, you, you should be worried for my safety and, and and uh, everybody else in this one room. And that's nobody else, so just me. Let's just put this right there. Could we just maybe angle that down a little bit? Perfect, okay. So, let's start off with something easy. How about a squishy bat? It's squishy, it's so soft and wiggly. If anything, the bat took damage. Y'all can't see if there's a big divot right in this squishy foam. I don't even use these anyway. Next, we're going PVC. Part of the PVC broke. Oh well. Again. This is not your everyday run in the mill cosplay. This is real materials. How about we step it up a notch and use this fencing rapier? Yeah, not even gonna do anything. You know why? Because they're both made of metal. This is a real training rapier, meaning the tip is not sharp. It's just an itty bitty piston button thingy me bob that you just shove into an opponent and it sends an itty bitty electrical charge from this thing right to this. It's like zero, zero, zero something. It, it's really, really low charge. It's not even gonna harm anybody. And now, we go on to the final test. Hmm. I'm literally bent on deciding what to use. I could use a sword, but that's not really YouTube approval stuff. So I'm just gonna use this baseball bat. Spade by Alkite. Performance baseball alloy, 12 ounce drop, made in USA, Tennessee. Yeah! One, and a two, and a three, and a four. My ears are ringing. Ouch. Any damage? If you want to know what I did here, I used old wiring that could not be used anymore for things like, say, electrical outlets. Don't do this at home. I didn't have any rope. I, I should have used rope, but this was a little bit easier. I took old post clips, used to hold posts up to make things like your decks. Yeah, decks, decker, ha, that, that's my last name. And then I just use a little bit of basically just like tie wiring. It's not really much to it. Use for tying stuff down like say doors when they fly open and you can't close them. <laughs> and I just hook the parts together. 
also, normally, by idiots, when they make stuff like this, is deemed unsafe. Not only to other people, but to the user themselves. But when I made it, I took all the steps, I cut off excess material, I tied it down even further, making it very strong, very light, very durable. It's, it's nice, it's nice, okay? That's just, that's just how it is. This armor suit is not fake. It's all real dangerous materials, and if they're not taken care of properly, they can hurt somebody or the person using them. That's why you gotta know what it is you're doing. You gotta make it durable, you gotta make it sturdy. You gotta make sure all the points aren't gonna cut you when you run your finger along them. You gotta make sure everything is safe to use. The fact that they're saying this is cosplay, the people I play with on the Xbox, it's just not true. These are all very dangerous materials, and if not taken care of properly, again, they'll hurt you. You gotta know what it is you're doing, where it is you're putting them, and you gotta make sure it doesn't cut important parts like, say, your neck, your hands, your eyes, your throat, just anything. Like this. Does this look like cosplay to you? This is made by a brand called Easton. This is not cosplay. This is not cosplay. This is strong materials. Very hard to get a hold of. Very expensive stuff. It's just how it is. Despite the entertaining video I gave you just beating the crap out of my stuff, I could literally, I could literally take a sledgehammer and bang this helmet all day long. It's not gonna break. It's got Z87 glasses right here. If you don't know what that is, that's industrial grade materials used to protect people's eyes while they do stuff with sawhorse tables and miter box saws to make sure that when they fly off the table by accident, they don't puncture your eyeball and make you lose sight in half your brain. We look like this all day. We're in a freaking eye patch. No. This is real stuff that I've spent my money into. The money I've made in my spare time. Just so I can wear stuff that makes me feel safe and like myself. That said, there are still things I need to improve as time goes on in my life. I might make a new helmet, I might make new armor, I might make new stuff to make it less dangerous. Like these teeth, for example. These are way too sharp. Thankfully, it stays out like this far away from my face. Like, kind of that far away. Like, look at this thing. Look how big it is compared to my skull. <laughs> it's huge! I spent my time making this. Good news is I can easily just take off this whole jawline by taking out these little golden pins and just replace it with something less sharp, less painful, a bit more dull. But again, it's just not true. If you think this suit is cosplay, I don't know what you're smoking, but it sure isn't common sense. Uh-uh. This is dangerous stuff that I've spent my time making sure that it's safe for me to use, safe for me to wear. Now, I need to give you all something more entertaining now, because I'm not going to be doing a game today. So, excuse me for uno momento, I need to find something. You guys like jokes? How about a Beyblade joke? And also, uh, a funny video to go with it. Made by yours truly. What did the Beyblade say to the punked up gangster? Hang on. 
Got to make sure this is facing. Okay. There we go. He said, I'll clock you. If you don't get the joke, you're about to. Just be patient. Now. Some people think Beyblade is a completely safe thing as well. No. You see, I've seen bays so horribly made that if you literally try to grab it while it's spinning, it'll cut your hand open. If you don't make these properly, like say, your armor, Beyblade itself can be a danger not only to itself, but to others as well. That's something they've tried to prevent. I wouldn't say Hasbro's doing a good job either. There are a few other knockoff brands like Gyro Bays. I've, I've heard of that name. Some of them even got poisonous materials. That's, that's not good. That's worse than my armor. So just to show you how dangerous one of these things can be, let me to give you a little test. Just, just, just to show you, you know. Okay, so first things first, I need a box. Or better yet, I need the side of a box. Ignore the fan. I'm, I'm trying to get this angled right. So, I'm setting up a tripod right now just to show you all how dangerous one of these little Beyblades can be. It's a lot like my suit of armor. If you don't make it right, it's not only going to danger yourself, it's going to danger everybody around you. Hang on. Hold the phone. I didn't do something. There we go. It won't even matter that the thing's not even angled right. You all still think your Beyblades are safe? Is that what you guys think? I'm about to prove you all wrong. This is a modified Beyblade sparking launcher that I've increased the string length and gave it the spinny part. Just, just call it that. Just for the sake of entertainment. The, the spinny part that makes the Beyblade itself spin. But the string is not made for this launcher, so it adds a lot more kick. Hey, Lego! Hey, buddy! You might want to move! Lego, that's going to be a dangerous spot for you. Uh, excuse me for uno momento. Why don't you come sit over here in, in your nice little bed? Beyblade is a very dangerous sport. Let me show you. You didn't see it because I missed the target. How about we line this right over here and try again? Three, two, one. You all saw that, right? Hmm. No damage. Let's try again. Three, two, one. Got to rewind it. There we go. Three, two, one. You all heard that, right? I'm trying to hit the box. I'm not doing a very good job, apparently. Launching a Beyblade is one thing. Actually firing it at an accurate shot is very difficult and completely different. There we go. You all saw it make contact. What you didn't see was the damage 
that that little bay made, it dug right into the box. Box is brought to you by United Vein Lanes. I'm sorry, lanes? I say lanes? I meant lines. United Vein Lines. Va van Lines. Th thank you for Menace being such an intelligent idiot. Oh, you're welcome, everybody. But seriously, though, do you all honestly think that my armor is any different from, say, a Beyblade? When cultivated and made properly, it's a beautiful work of art. But when it's mishandled and not used properly, it becomes a dangerous thing. Not only to itself, but to others as well. And that is uh, something we just cannot abide by. We cannot afford to accept. We cannot allow to accept. So, while I sit here eating a giant marshmallow, I set it on a bag just for this moment. <sighs> Please understand, this armor is not fake. It's real. It can be dangerous if made improperly. Gus, dang it, this marshmallow is very hard to chew. Wonder why that is. There we go. Now yeah, I swallowed it. Ah, <laughs> it took me like forever to chew that thing. I still got another half to go. This is real stuff. I spent my life making. Ten years, learning, perfecting, teaching myself basically just how to make it, how to modify, how to make it more entertaining to look at, but at the same time more safe, even though it's more dangerous. This thing is safe to wear. I, I'm not gonna get hurt when I put it on. The shoulder pads, they're safe to wear. For a person that's a lot bigger than expected, um, it might be a little bit tight on, say, your arm muscle. But other than that, it, it's safe. I can wear it all day long. All day long, I can wear it all day long. No, no problem. No, no problem. No, 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 no problem. Maybe something went unpopular. I could have a bunch of people put my arm to the test, see if they can break it. That would be a little bit interesting to see. But, nonetheless, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a like. If you want to see more Minecraft and or gaming content, please subscribe. Down below, just ring that little bell. Down below in the corner, just ring that bell. Thank you so much. And like always, this is Menace Riker. Signing off. And I will see you. You. Next time. Bye bye. Have a great day, everybody. Bye bye. I'm going to go watch TV now. Have a good day. Everybody, he. Bye, boy.